Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1522. Hey, we're still talking about dynamic arrays. And in this video, we want to see how to extract a unique list for each column. And we'll get to see unique and indirect functions. Now, of course, dynamic arrays and some of the new array functions like unique are only in Office 365 Insider Edition right now. But within a few months, the beginning of 2019, Microsoft says the new Excel calculation engine and dynamic arrays will be available. Now we're going to go over to the sheet 1522. And our goal is simple. I want a formula that I can copy over, and it will extract a unique list from each column. Now our columns are in the correct order, but I want to look at something unusual about the new calculation engine, spilled arrays, and table formula nomenclature. If I reference this entire column right here, that's the date column. When I hit Control Enter, OK, so it's spilling the dates. But F2, that's table formula nomenclature. And since it's a whole column, we know that when we copy it to the side, that table formula nomenclature is programmed to move to the next column. Ready? So Control Enter. And I'm going to copy the whole spilled array by just selecting the top cell. And when I drag it to the side, what is going on here? It didn't move. Now let's try that a different way. Equals, and I'm going to reference this whole column. But now I'm going to wrap it in an aggregate function. Now this is silly, but some function can handle adding dates. Notice, of course, it didn't spill because the Excel calculation engine knows when a formula delivers multiple answers or single answer. Now I'm going to copy this to the side. And look at that. Table formula nomenclature is working exactly the way it's supposed to. It totally moved when we copied it to the side. All right, with all of that said, I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow and delete all that. What I'd like to do is use equals sort and then unique. Highlight the whole column. And again, the problem here is I would like to just use that. And I certainly expected that table formula nomenclature would work the same in spilled arrays. But when I Control Enter and drag it to the side, it's not working. No problem. I have the field names up here. And instead of using the table name and then the field name in square brackets, I'm going to create some text, double click date, and I'm going to type double quote, ampersand, ampersand, double quote. And then I'm going to put my cursor there. And now, as we copy it to the side, I'll get transactions, square bracket, date, revenue, customer, and so on. Well, of course, that's text, and that's not going to work. It is text that's referring to a reference. So the way that we convert text that's referring to a reference back to a reference is we use the indirect function. And now Control Enter, copy it to the side, and look at that. We have extracted a unique list for each one of the columns. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including a bunch more after this with more dynamic array tricks. All right, we'll see you next video. Thank you.